Hey guys, we're going to work on the second rack of coats right now. This is Laura from Gypsy Woman Antiques. I've been at this for 13 hours straight. I'm a little tired, so if these last couple videos are sounding a little hurried or, or harried, excuse me, um, it's just because I'm really tired. It took a long time. So um, this was the first thing I bought at the garage sales when I was sailing. It is a Wilson leather jacket. I really like the detailing on this. You've got that, you've got the zippers on the back, and you've got this, and you've also got some leather lacing. And that is Wilson, it's extra large, and I paid 20, and it's going for about 60. So, this Harley Davidson shirt, you know what, I didn't even look it up. It is a true Harley. I paid three, she agonized about selling it for three. Who knows, let's say 20. I'm not quite sure, but always look for Harley. Here's another Harley. This one is a size large, and it is a denim jacket in excellent shape. The buttons are Harley. The back is Harley. I paid $5 for this. I'm hoping I'll get 50 bucks out of that for sure. Then we've got a Ford Mustang uh, Letterman jacket, denim and canvas, in really good shape. And I'm not quite sure, BOA is the brand, it's an extra large. I paid $10 for it. And I'm thinking that they're going, I think they're going for only about 35, but still it's cool. Now this uh, find is something I got last year at the sales but I really had to show you guys because it's the coolest and plus I've got to get it for sale because it's motorcycle season so you've got a leather um, Playboy bunny halter you've got the suede jacket which the jacket all the way down the sleeves is Playboy bunny and then you've got the matching pants with the Playboy bunny and I paid for this suit this cool leather jacket and one more vest that I sold for way too cheap I sold the vest for $20 and the guy was thrilled so you know what I made somebody's life really happy that's okay but for those pieces this piece that piece and the vest I got them all for 40 bucks I'm thinking that this is definitely an auction item with careful measuring I can see myself getting at least 200 for it because it's really cool but it's small all right, next, we've got a Wilson's leather jacket, extra large. I'm going to take a Doc Bailey leather um, polish to it because it's got some scratches on it right here. And those are going, this particular one was going for $65 and I paid her $15. She wouldn't come down any, so that's the only, I didn't pay too much, I didn't pay full price for hardly anything. But this was the first day. So I've got a little story about this. This is an Arctic Cat leather vintage uh, snowmobile jacket. And there's nothing like it on eBay, which is fantastic. It's got really thick padding. So, you know, I only paid $5 for this. But I'd say a couple years ago, at the Goodwill, I found a Polaris wool jacket that was very worn. But the zipper was intact. It was um, just, it looked really broken in. And the way I sold it, I just said, you know, look, look sexy and, and with this broken in jacket. And I paid $14 for it and I sold it for a hundred. So I figured, you know what, I could probably do the same with this jacket. And the beauty about that is there's none like it on eBay. So that, that's a good deal. So the next, let me push these down here. Sorry about that. Herman K is a nice bigger woman's brand. This is a leather. Sorry, let me just move this coat here. This is just a nice fall larger size jacket. I think they're going for 35 and she gave it to me for three. This is an Echo United jacket. I think it's a larger size. Yes, it's a 2XL. It's a nice, let me see if I should, I should be recording like this. 
Um, it's a nice brand. I paid uh, five dollars for it, and it should be going for like maybe forty. This is probably the ugliest darn thing I ever bought. Don't ask me why I bought it. It's um, made in Canada. Maybe somebody will love it, but it's. It seems like it's definitely an 80s coat, very straight. It's got a matching. Um, it's got a matching scarf. I paid two dollars for it. It's made in Canada. I thought, hey, maybe somebody will really like it. Lands End parka, women's parka, excellent condition. Size 14, 16, with the hood. Looking good. I paid uh, six dollars for this, and I'm thinking I should probably get 50 bucks for that. Now this fox coat. You know, I've sold furs before, and I sold a fur last year for like $300, and you could tell it was really high quality. This, not so much. I mean, it's okay. None of the pelts are ripped or anything like that. It's rather lightweight. I paid $10 for it. If I get, you know, 60 or 75 for it, that's great. I really haven't done any homework, but I knew right away that I should buy it for 10 Here is a jacket called from Fetish. And it's really, for the young girls, it's got a fur collar, and you must roll up those doggone cuffs. I don't know. They're pretty funky. But there's fetish everywhere. Fetish here, fetish on the pole. It's just really cute. And I paid six bucks for that, and I bet you I can get 50 bucks. Here's another Carhartt jacket. I paid $10 for that and I can probably get $40 to $50. Here is East Fifth Avenue. It's another, it's a faux vest. I'm thinking uh, $25 and I paid three. Here is a Coca-Cola jacket. Um, it's an XL. It's a little dirty, so it went from $5 to a dollar. And so if I can't, I don't think it's ever been washed, and I, I, I just need to do a, a good job washing it if it comes clean. There wasn't anything like it, so we'll start at 35 or 40 on that one. Here is an older Polo Ralph Lauren leather jacket. She only wanted a couple bucks for it. I have to mend the lining in a couple of places, but I had a, a sewing business in a previous life, so I don't have any problem with that. Next, I'm kind of a sucker for old vintage wool coats. And this one is from Bemidji Woolen Mills, and it's a blaze orange. Got it for five bucks. It's a size 50. It needs to be cleaned, so I'll probably have to dump another 10 bucks into it. And it'll probably sell for, I don't know, $50. Then here's a Silkworms woman's uh, extra large jacket. Uh, I just think it's a good style for a bigger gal, and I paid three dollars for that. Probably sell that for I don't know forty. Here is an Ivanka Trump leather dress, new with tags that say forty nine bucks, and I paid the guy eight dollars. So hopefully I can put it online and make, you know, 38 bucks, make 30 bucks on the deal. And then here's a jacket. And the only reason I bought it is because it was new with tags. And it's by 5-4. And I paid him five, well, actually I paid him $4. And they are going for 30, about 30 bucks. And the last item here is a USA Nike, I think it's a, yeah, it's an XL. The front, here's the front, here's the back. And I paid a dollar for this. So hopefully, you know, I'll get 20 bucks out of it. So there are all the coats. I would highly recommend if you run into coats that you look them up because if you can get them for cheap in the off season and sell them in the fall, you are going to make some good money. Thanks for watching.